Hello and welcome to another video and welcome to, any guesses? The West Highland Way, the 96 mile trail from here in Mulgai to Fort William. I am here today to run 51 kilometers of it from here to Rawa Denham, which is the bottom of Ben Lomond, as day one of two of a very big training weekend ahead of my 250 kilometers at the end of March, of which 96 miles of the West Highland Way is contained. I'm coming from Edinburgh up to here, up the West Highland Way, and then up to the top of Ben Nevis, which is quite a harrowing thought at this point. But nonetheless, this is my biggest training weekend off prep. 50K today, 50K tomorrow, back along the canal in Edinburgh. I'm nervous, I'm intimidated, but I am looking forward to getting out there today for about seven hours or so of good quality training and ultimately confidence building. So I'll be getting a bit more familiar with this over the coming weeks as the final pieces of the puzzle in terms of recce come together. But if you're looking forward to seeing what 250K as a single stage ultra at about 94 kilos looks like then make sure to subscribe at this point if you haven't yet done so so nothing really left for me to do other than give you this back and begin okay big weekend big weekend 5k deep and interestingly my asthma has been a bit of a problem so far. Really not settled all that well, which is strange, might be the cold. I've been all over the country this weekend at a hotel, so it could just be some dust in some rooms or something like that, I don't know, but anyway, settled in now. And the aim of this weekend is just really to spike my volume. We would have done this next weekend, ideally, but Scott and Johnny with family commitments and Mother's Day tomorrow, etc. They've got plans already, so from a team point of view, we had to bring it forward to this weekend. As I said, 50K today, 50K tomorrow, very different terrains. I've got over a thousand meters of elevation today and about 80 tomorrow. So very different. Legs are gonna take a beating. Hopefully confidence is gonna go up and I'm gonna just get used to that dull achiness and mental demand that goes with long distance ultra endurance stuff. So I'm gonna check in with you every 5K or so, or if there's anything of note and just keep you posted with what's gonna be around six to seven hours of work. Big Saturday. Okay, 10K down in one hour and 53 seconds. Feeling very smooth, very solid. Asthma has thankfully settled right down and all is well so important thing to flag at this point is that this section come game day is going to be entirely in the dark so thus far the technicality of it is very manageable but mostly um path with a few sections of more technical trail to deal with so it's just a case of be careful slow down because we're under a lot of fatigue when i get here but beautiful setting ultimately not peak beauty of the route so the fact that I'm going to be doing this in the dark is probably a good thing. So, see you shortly. 15k up and feeling steady. Rhythm's real nice. Breathing settled down. Setting is lovely. And track is fairly simple thus far. Not being a huge amount of elevation at this point. I think about 180 meters total across 15k. But that is about to change. As I've just looked at the elevation profile and we're about to go. Well. So the map book looks, looks like but i will not be going you know, i'll be going steadily anyway never mind what was i talking about running west highland way scotland elevation yes so probably going to be walking using these poles the next section quite a lot great opportunity to get a lot of fluids on great opportunity to get some food on great opportunity to mentally reset and think about what i want to focus on for the rest of this and for the rest of the prep because i am less than three weeks out Oh my goodness. Why aren't we talking about how Scotland is the best training location in the UK? Whatever the setting, we're best known for our weather, but let's say, build resilience. Whether it's flat, hilly, indoors or outdoors, like this. Scotland has all that you can ask for. Including a local protein supply, thanks to Graham's family dairy. So you can live on the land as well as off of it. Wherever you are, if you're training hard, you should be getting plenty of protein in. So, if you're doing any of this, then make sure to grab some of this afterwards. Hmm. 
spanner in the works as part of it is closed so i'm gonna to need to take a second to figure this out okay i think i know what i'm doing i'll probably just phone johnny and scott to see what the crack is but hopefully that is cleared up by game day i can't quite tell i'll make some calls make some calls back on track so through drumming up a long concrete hill and yeah starting to see peaks pop up but into the woods as the elevation is about to skyrocket bloody hell land management is questionable around these parts just kidding what a stunning area uh, i'm fairly buzzing because that cuts out about 300 meters of elevation today but question mark over whether these are going to be back open ahead of time kind of kill is up that direction would be the highest point ahead of Loch Lomond. Sorry, highest point ahead of Ben Lomond, because um, Loch Lomond's just down that way. So I'm going to go down this way now into Bamaha and track along Loch Lomond. But that is the bulk of the elevation that was scheduled. So that makes today a little bit easier, but also causes the question a few things ahead of game day itself. 25k complete, and anyone that's uh, switched on with their maths will be able to determine that's only one tenth of the whole thing, which is disgusting. But nonetheless, it's my own choice. I signed up to this. Nobody's making me do this. <sighs> Consequences of your own actions, eh? Conic Hill's closed off, as I have shown you the sign, which means that about 360 meters of gain reduced from today, which is obviously pleasant, but the big question mark is, from a training point of view, does that mean I've missed out something I'm gonna be doing on the day? Or is that gonna be the case when it comes to the day itself, which means that there's actually less elevation overall to factor in? We don't know just yet. That'll be subject to a few phone calls. I think it means today will be a little bit quicker. I honestly feel really quite solid and smooth at the moment, but basically down along the block here to Rowdown and Car Park. I'm then gonna go about four and a half K out and four and a half K back just to finish at Rowdown and Car Park because it's very inaccessible from that point onwards for the boys. So I'm glad we're here. Lessons learned, importance of wrecking, as I very much emphasized in previous videos. Such is life. Keep moving forwards. Kind of disappointed you weren't in the cafe with a Nice latte for me there, you pricks. Well, we were in a cafe enjoying a nice latte, so I can tell you about it later if you like. Bottom left, bottom I left. I did everything. Is it in there, or is it in the main pocket? In, the in fact, I'll take a packet, packet of crisps, which is top of the main pocket. Right, fucking hell. Oh, oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. I've got to do everything around here. Just alongside Loch Lomond now, and what a stunning setting. Nice trail, little rocky sandy beaches, and then one of Scotland's most renowned blocks right there. And lots of dogs kicking about, having a good time, people in the water. Brilliant. How invigorating. Legs feeling fresh, just ticking over at this point. Simple as that. Ah, harsh, harsh reminder for me there of why focus is so important and why tiredness and complacency is going to be one of the biggest things to keep an eye on. I've just oh, tripped over this, nailed my foot on it, stumbled, and I'm just going head first into here. Very painful, nearly hit the deck. <laughs> Stay focused on my feet, not on the surroundings. Thirty-five k deep, and it's kind of eerily peaceful around here. Woods, lock, me feeling good. Temperature's gone up a little bit, so gloves are off, which is nice. Yeah, just enjoying how smooth I feel. I think. You can hear it a little bit, my asthma's been weird today, which I don't really know why, to be fair. Normally well, my whoop data indicates whether I'm gonna have a problem with my asthma because it indicates higher breathing rate and surface temperature overnight, but didn't wake up with that this morning, so not sure what the root cause is, but it could just be one of those things. 35K, see you at 40.
just under the marathon mark and I'll admit this bit's pissing me off. It's very undulating in an annoying way where you just keep getting stopped and started and stopped and started and the inclines are really aggressive. Don't have my poles with me, which I can definitely feel at this point, actually. I can feel my mood getting a little bit ratty. My foot is sore as fuck after smashing it on that stumpy rock thing and my asthma's being weird. So I'm glad these things are happening today rather than on game day, but I'll admit my mood has dropped. Been on my own for a while here. Stunning setting, peaceful setting, but fuck this section. If anyone's done this section and knows what I'm talking about, comment something kinder than that, like, darn that silly section between Balmaha and Raadenen. Grrr. Something like that would be great. Cheers. Okay, job done. 50k data on the screen for you somewhere. All in all, pleased with that. There is something going on with my asthma, and Halo is not really helping it, which is not concerning, but it's definitely a bit of a pain in the arse. Not as much of a pain in the arse as the fact that fucking Italy beat Scotland in the Six Nations, though. So that's not great. All in all, very positive training day. Lots of lessons learned, lots of mistakes made, and errors today, which I'd rather happen today than on game day. Planning for the team to take away and fucking hell, man. <clears throat> Move things forward. Not sure what this is about. Johnny and I'll speak on how I approach tomorrow with this in mind, because this is a bit odd. I'm not normally like this out with December, January. Legs feel okay. Concrete's a little bit brutal, but back on trails, I genuinely feel quite smooth. The only thing that's a bit out of character today is breathing. Inhaler wasn't helping, as I've said. Average heart rate, 139 according to this, but this was all over the place. Forgot my strap today, so pleased, to be honest. I think it's quite difficult to comprehend that there's 200 more kilos on top of that, but that's kind of the whole point, so I shouldn't really complain about that. But here we are. That is what a big training Saturday looks like as I really, really ramp things up to taper down into game day. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video and hit subscribe because we're kind of getting to the, the real critical moment as part of this whole prep. We'll have a chat in the car. I'll see how I feel this evening. I'll need to check how much inhaler supply I have at the house to see what tomorrow looks like, but you guys will be aware because the next video will illuminate what happened. So all in all positive, but tomorrow's training day is potentially under risk because this <laughs> Might need a little bit more focused recovery. Interesting. Goodbye.